So to begin with, I did some initial brand research and collected imagery on the idea of lux interiors and the theme I was looking into, sensational death. This was to help inspire the concept building. The painting here and digital renders of the painting, looking at the drop shadow inspired by the Rolls Royce logo and then repeats in various scales and colour, were developments from my image making work again to aid this concept building process that I was undergoing. The next page looks at Mughal painting as a form of research with the linear florals and the acrylic floral there, introducing the scallop shape almost merging the architectural side and the natural environment, which was a concept that I was keen to look into for Rolls Royce. I've got some Devore samples here on different fabrics, velvet and sheer fabrics, to start thinking about um, ideas for the curtain. I wanted to look at the velvet as it's a luxe material, and then the sheer fabrics to see how light would be changed and distorted through the car with this. This is some um, mapping sketches, looking at visualisation imagery and thinking of initial ideas, again using the linear florals. This document here I created at the beginning of the project and continued to add to, titled Immersion, which was what I was going to call my project, it includes uh, information about my theme, the design ideas that I had and continue to have throughout the project, research points and what I wanted each of the three components to think about. My written narrative here and another form of it there and then some more concept building illustrative drawings there. I decided to rework the Rolls-Royce Spirit of Ecstasy logo looking at the architectural forms starting to bring that in with the human form there and some more visualisation imagery across there. Here are my initial mood boards that I created with the imagery up until this point. They are quite sparse, but I felt it was a good time to start bringing what I had done together onto a board to help me see what I was missing and where my project was looking to go. Include imagery of the Devore samples that I've shown previously too. This double page spread is some more concept um, visualisation imagery, again with the linear florals, working on top of the interiors and also growing out of them. Um, this made me realise that large scale florals and blow up florals was a keen idea to look at. I created some digital work looking at layering opacity and scale um, here of these florals, layering them behind each other to help create depth within my drawings. This page here is an experimental mark making page looking at the texture of marble. There are collage elements here and here of different architectural forms with the acetate printed scallops shapes as well. The printed fabric samples here were of a tile screen used the same for the Devore that I created in image making and my architectural screen here as well, which was a keen feature in this project. These Devore samples here are on Shearer fabrics again. I wanted to see how the darkness and thickness of the line could affect the amount of light coming through such a sheer fabric for the curtain. And then I've got some um, development drawings of a drawing that I did in image making, transforming it into something linear and then carrying that concept on onto this drawing here where I redrew my lily in a multimedia way with acrylic, um, pencil realism, linear and then a collage aspect there. This Just Fabric sample really inspired me. The floral forms and the structures of the leaves on there were um, similar to how I wanted my um, floral forms to look. Not necessarily completely obvious floral forms, but they definitely take on the same structure, which was what I liked. I've got a contemporary florals word document here, which is research of how other artists have contemporized florals to inspire how I go forward and draw them. Then we've got a research page on Floors of Stone, which is a flooring company, looking at their marble samples specifically and how the architectural side links into the nature, which is where the monochrome lily painting comes in there. This page here is um, an experimental page looking at my designs that I'd come up with for the picnic table, inspired by the marble mark making page. I've played with scale, which are shown in these digital works, again looking at layering opacity and creating depth. 
I decided to choose this design here as my final one. The scale of the architectural forms was lovely and on the visualisations, which I'll show later, I feel like it was the most effective one in the interior space of the vehicle. Then this double page spread here is some experimental ink uh, floral drawings with layered acetate with 3D paint embellishments on. The research alongside with it is depth and I wanted to look at the idea of the layering of different materials, so papers in this case, and mediums to see how the depth could be created, what you can see and what you can't see. I did some research on the blow up florals pattern bank trend uh, to fit with my idea of scale in my florals and here is some imagery of my work there. The blow up scale I feel like helps create a mood in the car and allows the person in the car to immerse themselves in the imagery with it being large scale. Here I've got some machine stitch responses to the pattern bank imagery um, using both straight stitch and the freehand stitch on velvets and silks. Then across the page I've got a double page multimedia collage drawing looking at negative and positive shapes. We've got fabric and paper and introduction of scallop shapes here inspired by the artist Bobby Burgers which is part of my research just across. This is one of my Devore samples that I decided to machine stitch on top of, looking at texture within the linears of my drawings. And it's a contrast to this hand stitched and beaded piece here on silk. I wanted to include these next to each other with the paper and fabric collages to show the contrast between a hand stitch and a machine stitch, which links to the idea of the hard and soft, linking back then to the architecture and nature within my theme. This artist research response page is for Martha Havisham. She's a collage artist. I created these multimedia collages looking at florals in a different form. I decided to do them in white as opposed to black to show variation within my drawings. And I've um, tacked on there some fake rose petals as well, just to create some added texture and realism to my work. This is my initial uh, gallery sample. It looks at paper, fabric, negative and positive shapes and includes the scraps of things that I've cut out previously. Rolls Royce focus a lot on sustainability and throughout my project I took the sustainable approach by using the offcuts of things that I had cut out previously within my sketchbook and within the samples to produce as little waste as possible. This sample is on plywood, however the leather samples here are for po a possible development for a different material aspect. And then the research for this page, which is attached to the back of this mixed media collage, is a 3D paper artist called Laura Collin, who inspired this picnic table sample. This is a smaller scale sample that I created, including offcuts of these two B&Q wallpaper samples. These architectural forms here are meant to represent flowers. They were hand stitched and then we've also got some floral forms there that I also created, layering papers and fabrics to help create depth and combine the two materials. A velvet devore sample here, which was a double devore. It didn't quite work out, but I thought it was nice to include because you can still see the linear layers on the back side of it. Next to then some Denelm samples that have a lot of natural and architectural references. The metallic notes I feel like links in well with the, sh the sheen from the velvet and the textured surfaces were something I was keen to create in my curtain sample. This is a um, sustainability material mood board here, looking at the fabrics that I used for the digital print here and the Devore here and here. The documents alongside it, research-wise, are sustainability within design practice, which focuses a lot on Rolls-Royce themselves and also how I want to be sustainable within my practice in the future and with current projects. And a materiality document here, which looks at how fabrics are created, where they've come from and their impact on the environment. I was keen to keep this in mind when I was choosing the fabrics for my samples and not just think about the practicality for their outcome, but also how it's going to affect the environment as well. And then the last page in my sketchbook is a mood board that has all of my visualizations on it, on the configured car. The configured car I altered to suit my project with the cream and neutral interiors, 
um, very white with the wood tones there as well. And I have my curtain, my picnic table, the gallery just here, and then some larger scale concept visualizations and how the car would look on the front if I could also edit that.